Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Sports Blitz here, and we're back with another seven round NFL mock draft. Today, we have the New York Jets. Um, and I'm excited for this one. The Jets have multiple first round picks, they've got quite a bit of draft capital. Um, there's a lot of needs to fill, so let's go ahead and see how it goes. Um, I'm just going to say I'm not going to be able to please all Jets fans. Um, so I know not every Jets fan is going to like this. I'm going to go based off how the board falls. I know not all of the picks will be realistic. Um, if a trade offer comes up that I really like, we'll go ahead and take it. Um, this is just completely how the board falls on, you know, this, this draft simulator. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. <coughs> so starting off, we've got a trade offer from the text or from the Giants. The Giants want to trade up one spot. Um, Okay, that's interesting. Um, and then the Broncos want to trade up as well. They're offering. Um, I mean that when when you're talking the first ten picks in the draft, trading up is a lot of value. It really is. Um, give me just a second. I'm gonna click counter offer. I'm gonna hurry and see who's on the board. So. There's Evan Neal, Aiden Hutchinson, Kyle Hamilton. Kayvon Thibodeau is still on the board here. So we're going to go ahead and decline those requests and take Kayvon Thibodeau. Um, really, once Carl Lawson comes back, the pass rush is going to be a lot better. And I think they, you know, I think really they need to take Kayvon Thibodeau and get that pass rush as, as, as really as nasty as possible. Um, the Saints are sending up an offer for a first, third, and two seconds, or two two fourths, sorry, um, for our 10th overall pick. I think we want to decline that one. Washington, um, let me see who's on the board for that one. Um, I'm going to decline the Steelers. Let me see who's on the board real quick. Um, okay, so... I would think that they probably want to get, like, Kenny Pickett or Matt Corral. I think we're going to go ahead and allow that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Um, let me see if I can get a sixth. Okay, fourth. Ooh, it's still saying very likely. It is still saying very likely. Third? Likely. Okay, I'm going to test my luck here. Um, I'm going to see if we can uh, get their third round pick for this. And we did. Only one spot and we got another third round pick. That is awesome. Um, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be taking offers every time. I'm gonna decline these. Um, and indeed they did take Kenny Pickett, so that's, that's cool. Um, I think what we are going to do here, I think let's go ahead and take Kenyon Green now. I think the Jets really want to solidify their offensive line as much as they can, and... Because, I mean, really right now they've got Mackay Becton, they've got Elijah Vera Tucker, George Fand really didn't play bad at all at right <clears throat> at right tackle this last year, so I think he's fine to stay there. Connor McGovern's really not bad. You get Kenyon, um, Kenyon Green, sorry, I couldn't think of his last name for a second. You get him in there at right guard, and that offensive line is one of the better lines in the league. Um... Cowboys want to trade back, and we are going to decline that. So, yeah, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of trade offers in in these drafts. As as we literally get another one, Saints are wanting to trade up. I don't want to do that. 
So, um, based off who is on the board right now, um, ooh, Nakobe Dean is on the board. They could really use a good playmaking linebacker like that. But, oh, also Drake London. I'm a big, big Drake London fan. Um, it's possible that we could get both of these guys, depending on who falls to 38. I'm, I don't know which one's more likely to fall. I'm going to get Drake London because I think wide receiver should definitely be a priority for the Jets. So I'm going to go Drake London here. I'm a big fan of the kid. The. Okay, so Nicobe Dean is still on the board. Let's go ahead and take him. I think he's going to immediately help that defense a ton. So, so yeah, so far we've gotten Kayvon Thibodeau. I think that was an absolute win. Then we get Kenyon Green to get that right guard position. Offensive line is looking a lot better. We get Drake London to give Zach Wilson, you know, really good weapon. Um, I mean, really, Drake London, he's kind of a, he's not quite as fast as, you know, like, like Traylon Burks, but he's a big, big body contested catch receiver and he can make, you know, really good contested catches, um, can be a really good red zone threat to help out Zach Wilson. We're going to decline that one and then, yeah, I think we're going to decline that one as well. So then at number 69, um, Ooh, I do like Kyler Gordon in the, in the third round. Um, I've seen him get some first round hype. I don't I don't like him enough to be first round, but I do like him in the third round. I could even see, you know, mid to late second. <laughs> so I think I think the Jets would be really smart to get Kyler Gordon right here. So now they've addressed secondary. They've got another pick right here. We're going to go ahead and decline that one. And that one. And on the board right now, let's see. Hmm. All right. So I've thought about this for a little bit. There's a few guys that I think would be good picks here. Um, first off, Jalen Petre from Baylor. Um I mean, Jets really could use some safety help. I mean, obviously, they lost Jamal Adams. It was either last year or two years ago. Can't remember which. Um, and probably going to lose Marcus May this offseason. Um, so they're going to need some safety help. Another guy I am thinking about is <clears throat> tight tight end Jeremy, Jeremy Ruckert from Ohio State. Um, the Jets really could use some help at tight end. Ruckert, I feel like, can both block well and be a solid receiving tight end. Um, and the Jets could really could really benefit off that. My last guy I was debating on is Kyron Williams, which I don't really view the Jets as a team that, like, really need a running back real bad because, I mean, Michael Carter was pretty dang good this year. But it seemed to me like they were having a lot of running back injuries so, I mean, having good running back depth and really Williams and Carter could have could be a really good one two punch. I think. Man, um, I think let's go ahead. Man, I don't know. This is this is tough because um, they do need a safety really bad. I don't know how the safety board is going to fall later on um man it this is this is tough i think i think let's go ahead and go with kyron williams right now um i think he can be a good combination with michael carter and then let's hope that there is a good safety and tight end available in the fourth so All right, and then the next pick is number 107. Um, okay, 
Yeah, looks like that safety is gone. However, Verone McKinley is available right here. So I do like Verone McKinley. What tight ends are available? Ooh, yeah, all, all of those would be a reach in the fourth. I'd probably take these guys, you know, mid to late fifth. T really, I feel like tight end isn't really like a super, super high valued position anyways. So, yeah, I think let's go ahead and go with safety Verone McKinley. I do really like him. I'm glad we glad we waited. Oh, and then there's two more safeties that win the next few picks. Um, so we have another fourth rounder right here. Take a look at the board. Try to take best player available. Ooh, Michael Wright is still on the board. I do like Michael Wright. I know we took corner. Um, Man, I do like Michael Wright. And the Jets may need more than one corner. I don't... I don't know, man. This is tempting. This is really tempting. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and go with Michael Wright right here. Because I think that way, if um, if Kyler Gordon doesn't work out too well, you at least have a higher shot of having one of your corners work out and Michael Wright. So, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the draft so far. We got Kayvon Thibodeau, Fix the Edge. Kenyon Green, you know, throw in at right guard. Uh, I'm going to decline that. <coughs> Drake London, you got a good receiver for for Zach Wilson. Um, you know, to, to go along with Elijah Moore and Jameson Crowder, obviously. You got Nick Hilby Dean, absolute stud of a linebacker. Kyler Gordon, um, I like him as a corner. He's getting some first-round hype. I don't value him that high, but... I do think he's a really good corner and, you know, could go as high as mid to late second round. Um, then we got Kyron Williams to help out Michael Carter. Um, Verone McKinley, who I'm a big fan of. I'm surprised he fell that far, <coughs> that far, actually. And then Michael Wright, another corner there. So I'm I'm a big fan of it so far. I think this draft is working out in our favor. So then let's go ahead and go tight end. Let me see... Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and go. Yeah, we're going to go with 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 Ch Chigozium o Okwanku. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I slaughter that name. I think the Jets just really need a tight end. Um, yeah, I that one, that one, I'm not super, super familiar with him. Um, I don't really see like a very clearly, you know, absolute stud tight end in this draft. Um, so I'll admit some of the tight ends this year I haven't study up, studied up on as much as, you know, as much as I probably should. But either way, the Jets do need a tight end. I think that's a good need to address. Um, remaining on the board... Um, oh, I do. I do like Reed Blankenship. I do like Reed Blankenship. Um, we already took a safety, though, so that's probably going to be out of question. Justin Ross is still on the board. How is he this far down? Guys, I, I like Justin Ross, to, Ross a lot. Like, I'm a big fan of the kid. I think we're going to double dip at at wide receiver and go Justin Ross because I am a big fan of him. I'm really surprised he fell clear down to fifth round. So um, I know the Jets only had picks through the fifth round. So yeah, that it looks like that's actually... Um, <laughs> it looks like that's actually it. I I didn't realize that uh 
these are all the picks. But yeah, I think based off what we got, I think that's a solid mock. I mean, where you don't have a sixth or seventh round pick, I mean, that looks like a really good draft class, if you ask me. Um, Jets fans, let me know what you think of this in the comments section below. Um, again, guys, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you later next